This Farm to Fork segment is sponsored by NetFM. It's harvest time in the Salinas Valley, and Jay Marquini is bringing in the crop. I'm here with Mark Marquini of Jay Marquini Farms, and it is harvest time in Radicchio. This is quite the production. Walk me through getting these things out of the field. Uh, once the radicchio is ready to harvest, we, uh, we get the packing materials ready to go. We send them out to the field, and then we get our employees, and we start cutting it. So basically, they're just bending over, cutting the head of radicchio, peeling off a few leaves. You can see the radicchio is green, and that's just the nature of the plant. It's green on the outside, but it's red on the inside. So they peel off all the green leaves to get a nice red ball. They put it on the top of the packing machine. Then we have packers on the top selecting... Uh, heads that are perfect size for our 12 count market for export and domestic then everything else goes through a processor pack goes on the trailer gets um, you know stacked up palletized and goes to the goes to the cooler so mark i'm looking at two tractors 25 people just on these couple rows right here i mean this production is a big deal how many heads and boxes uh, you know does one of these rigs do in a day so 40,000 to 50,000 pounds a day one rig can do we got three of them going every day um, depends on the quality, obviously, but, um, but we, that's what we forecast, and uh, they're humming. Yeah, this is absolutely amazing to watch. So how long does it take from transplant to when you get to harvest now and pull these heads off? That's a good question. Typically 60 to 80 days, depending on the time of the year. So right now we're in 70. You know, we're in the middle of summer by, uh, well, get, beginning to be summer. Middle summer, like in July, it'll be 60. And then you've got the processing center then in the, in the middle of the Central Valley. So everything goes on trucks. It's kept cool taken to the processing center and then from there the rest of the world exactly it goes straight from here to the cooler it's it's cool to 34 degrees it's kept cold from there all the way till, the, till it's going to get to the restaurant or the retail store so that beautiful red lettuce you see in the supermarket it doesn't just happen overnight and it is quite a production to bring it to you and jay Marquini farms they do it the best for farm to fork i'm rich krebs